Hi, I'm Errol Shanefish with Microsoft, and I'm here with Ray Wong, who is a partner at the Altimeter Group. And, and Ray, we're really excited to have you here today to talk about some of the industry trends and how that relates to Microsoft Dynamics GP. So what's happening in the ERP industry right now? Lots of exciting things happening in terms of the industry and different trends. And I think the biggest thing is really about partner and vertical integration. Partners going out there building software that people really want to use. And when we talk about this, we're talking about in industries that are important that to them. So this could be like distribution, like wholesale distributors who are changing their business models, going from manufacturers to more commerce, uh, to actually more putting kits together, to public sector, which really has been an underserved market for quite some time, mm -hmm. and of course, professional services. So you've got new products, new features that people are building against this, and of course, other verticals. Uh, the second thing that's really important is hosting and on-premise options. People now have a choice, right? I don't want to deal with the infrastructure. I don't worry about all the servers. They really want an admin out here. People are saying, no, I really don't want that. I can, can I have that option in hosting that, but still owning my own software? Mm. So the different degrees of that that are important. And then we're seeing a lot of people saying, if I could only work in Excel, if I could only work in Word uh, and not never touch the system, is, is there a way to do that? And so office integration has become really big. People are building software to allow them to just enter the data and never really have to touch the system, uh, at least to their knowledge, right. Right, and then be able to run. And then that really leads to all this data being put into the system. Well, what's, what's the purpose? To get the reports, right? So you think about the analytics, the reports, much easier reporting that's coming out, much more ad hoc reporting, giving users control to actually build the reports and graphs that are useful to them. And that ties back to, well, how do you bring all this information together? And you think about role base, right? So you've got role base screens that come back to who's a user. And, you know, it's, it's really important to think about, you know, are you giving the user the right level of information, right? Can they get the right notifications? Do they see the right screens? Can they easily navigate the important information that they use on a daily basis? And then, of course, we're seeing a lot of easier to use administrative options. So that all put together and the addition of being able to implement much more quicker uh, is really helping out. I mean, there's no more two-year ERP implementation or like, you know, these failures of these five-year mega ERP implementations where people see and say, oh my God, you know, our requirements changed in those five years that we actually put this thing yeah. in. So, so we're down to like, you know, people can get these things up in months. Uh, at least, I don't know if you're seeing that, but we're seeing months. Yeah, definitely. I, I noticed you kind of honed in on, uh, on role tailored and the ability to really serve up information as it relates to the role, and that's sort of a key theme. So what are some of the other things that you're seeing in the industry? Well, there are things around financing options, right? We're seeing people helping out. Uh, vendors are providing additional cash, make it a lot easier mm -hmm. to make those purchases that are out there. Uh, we're also seeing, I think one of the important things is just upgrades. Right? Upgrades are happening much more easily uh, because people have built these systems with mine. And then the last thing, which is really about these social enterprise applications. Things are much more collaborative, uh, easier to get to, and, and really designed how people are working. Right? I mean, think about the trends in the last three years. You know, all these social networking sites, you know, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, people are trying to connect. Uh, it really reflects this whole notion of Web 2.0 and Enterprise 2.0 advancements. Mm -hmm. And so the first set of buckets are building around roles that we were talking about. Uh, and then thinking about form factors. Who's getting access to this stuff? Is it a consistent experience across all these different channels? Phone, a device, a tablet. Are we really giving people the software they need? And then, of course, are we giving them the information that's important to them? And then, of course, there's a whole set of processes. You know, I bought the software. My business model changed. I used to sell widgets. Now I service widgets. What do I do? Right. So making things that are much more configurable around processes, that's one of the areas that really helps. And then, of course, getting the information out to people. You know, actionable, insightful information that's pushed out, uh, and it seems natural, so you can make the next set of decisions. And then, of course, how do you tie this all together? Bring in different stakeholders, right? Our customers are getting into the systems, checking in on orders. Suppliers are saying, do you really need that part now? Can I ma manage your inventory? Uh, you've got, uh, you know, employees that are checking in from all different types of locations. So all these different types of partners are accessing the system. And of course, you really want to make this all safe and, and secure. In that, in that kind of environment. Yeah, excellent. So it sort of sounds like to me you've got kind of three buckets of things there. There's almost, a, you could bucket them people, process, and ecosystem. Yes. And that relates directly to the release of Microsoft Dynamics GP 2010 and our themes of enhancing insight for people, make it easier for their processes, and then also um, extending connections for their ecosystem. 
So when you looked at GP 2010, what were some of the things that you saw as highlights and, and exciting things that were happening? You know, those are great design points. And, and the role-based portion is one of the big advantages you guys have. If you think about all the work that's done in usability and user experience, uh, thinking about you know people like April, the accounting clerk, <laughs> and I think Vince, the operations manager. Yep. I mean, you guys have these big maps up there that say, you know, if I was Vince today, what do I need to see? And, and building that in the homepage, you've added more roles. I think those are very useful uh, across the organization. Uh, and then, of course, you've made it easier to get to the information around those roles. Right, so the KPIs, the metrics that are preset, you've pumped in some more of those preset metrics, more out of the box reporting, and, and that really helps because people are trying to get to that information. Especially, you know, it's so, there's so much going on in terms of everybody's market, and you've got to be able to make a decision, and decisions are now much more fact based. There's no more like, oh, okay, <laughs> let's see where the wind's blowing, what's going to happen, and of course, deeper product set features, right? Uh, you guys have put encumbrance accounting, I think there's project accounting in there as well, and all those other features around, you know, additional supply chain features, additional manufacturing related capabilities, and then, you know, I mean, I can actually go back and tie these systems back to CRM now. So that's, that's a great advantage right. right now. So, so yeah, so those features, you add tighter integration with SQL Server, some of those great capabilities that are happening there. Uh, it's probably the best release of SQL Server in terms of performance, scalability, some of the auditing features, some of the capabilities back there in querying and administration. And then, of course, I can choose how I want my software. Mm. I mean, that's probably the big thing. Partners are going out doing the hosting if you want it, and, or I can keep it on-premise if I really want to keep that data to myself. Excellent. So, as you've seen, Microsoft Dynamics GP is uh, relating its releases to what's happening in the industry and really delivering on those trends. In this case, with Microsoft Dynamics GP, through enhanced insight, through making the processes easier, and extending connections out to communities. So, Ray, I really want to thank you for being with us here today, and thank you very much for all your insight. Hey, thanks for having me.